Hi guys, this is Taken57. Today I'm going to be showing you how to edit your WWE 2K17 save file as well as how to add content to the game. Okay, first thing you need to ensure that your game is started and at the title screen, like so. Then after you start up uh, X-Packer 2017, you click on File, open WWE 2K17, PC save file and you click Dump Memory. When you click on Dump Memory, the program will ask you for a location to save your save files um, and it will make a variety of different files. For the time being, Xpacker only creates a file for wrestler info and for movesets. I may add other uh, parts of the save file later on. Okay, once you have created uh, your dump files, you click on File Open, WWE 2K17, PC save file, wrestler info dump. Okay, you select the dump file that was created by Xpacker. Now you will see all of the slots that are listed uh, in the save file. Um, I'm going to extract slot 100, which is the rocks uh, wrestler info. And I'm going to inject this into one of the empty slots. So I know that slot number 464 is empty, so I'm going to inject the rocks um, wrestler info into this. Upon doing this, you'll see that the ID of 464 has now changed to ID of 100. This means that the file has been injected correctly. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to open up the slot by double clicking on slot 100. Um, I'm going to change the wrestler ID back to 464. I'm going to make the new slot number 1464. And I'm going to change the name, nickname and short name to a string that I've created in the strings file. Um, I've given string 1009 to Kurt Angle, so I'm going to sign this here. You can set the height, gender, etc. if you would like to. Um, for now, I'm not going to do all of that. And you need to ensure that playable is set to yes. Okay, if you click inject, you'll find that the slot ID will now change to 464. Okay, that is correct. If you are happy, then you click Save Changes into Memory. If once clicking Save Changes into Memory, um, the changes to the uh, wrestling info should be saved uh, to your game. So if you go into the game and we look under Creations, Superstar, WWE Superstar, we should see Kurt Angle listed. And okay. There we go. So this means that your slot has now been created. Now we still need to add a move set for Kurt Angle. So I'm going to open the move set file. Once again, I'm going to take the rocks move set as an example, and I'm going to inject this into slot 464. Okay, if you're happy, click Save Changes into Memory. And now if you go into Create a Move Set, you'll see that Kurt Angle has been assigned the Rocks Move Set as well as the Rocks Entrance. I'm going to go into Create a Move Set just to show you that it's worked. Okay, and you see it has the Rocks Move Set. Right, if you're happy with the changes that you've made to the save, you need to now uh, do something in the game which will cause the game to save the file and make it permanent. So I'm going to go into Edit Superstars. I'm going to go into one of the wrestlers and change one of the attributes. If you're happy, hit Space. So now the changes that you've made to the game uh, are permanent. So if you look, we have Kurt Angle listed. This means that now you can select cut angle. Also note that for you to actually use cut angle in the game, I have used slot 464. You need to create a pack file. 
um, with a pack edge file on the inside named correctly to the slot that you've assigned. So your pack file would be something like 0, 0, 0, 4, 6, 4, 0, 2, and your pack file pack edge file will be named the same as well. Okay, it's important to note here that uh, XPacker always works with the dump files. It does not work with your save file directly. Uh, if you try to open the save file, you will get an error in XPacker. Uh, also note that you can make changes to um, the entrance motions as well as the uh, entrance videos, etc. assigned to a slot. You can do this by double clicking a slot. Okay, this does not work for the advanced entrance that are created within the game. Uh, these you will need to edit within the game itself. Alright, uh, that's it for, for this tutorial. If you have any questions, please post in the comment section below or on my threads in Smack Talks. Thank you.